Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Taurus for the month of October or from whenever you view this video. When you view it, you were meant to hear its message. Please keep in mind it is a general reading, so it will not resonate with each and every one of you. If it does not resonate, please check your moon and your rising sign. Your messages could be there. Okay. For whoever this is for, you are in a relationship um, where it's like you bite your tongue, you don't speak up, you hold back your truth, your feelings. Why? Because you know if you do speak up, you're going to make matters worse. It's a card of knowing um, when to speak and when to be silent. It's this card here when it is reversed and it is within this long-term commitment or marriage. This occupies your thoughts quite a bit. I feel that in doing this, in deciding to keep silent, um, so that you don't make matters worse. It's the only way to move forward. It's kind of like, um, this is like what you plan to do because I feel as though you are um, with somebody who is narcissistic, who's constantly crossing your boundaries, um, probably criticizes you a lot. I feel as though you um, you carry the burden of this and of the way you're treated and having to keep silent in order to kind of keep the peace here in this connection. You do a lot of thinking, a lot of waiting. Um, you may... Um, you may be well off, uh, so you have security there. Um, because I have the privileged lady here. Um, it could be part of the reason that holds you there. But <clears throat> I also feel that you still have feelings for this person, or you, you do at this time here that I'm talking about. Um, and you are open to talking to this person. Um, I feel as though you would like to have this conversation. Obviously, you're afraid to have it, or you're not taking a decision to cut this person out because you're still hoping to save it, you know. Um, you're still very much in choppy waters here. At the time you're hearing this, you're right in this energy. Um, what's on your mind is um, trying to heal or trying to heal the, the marriage or commitment to try to move it to calmer waters. Again, we go back to what I saw here, and in the way you do that is by keeping silent. Um, you have a lot of fears about the future of this relationship. You have a lot of fears about being able to heal the relationship, to be able to to bring peace back into the home. Um, there's emotional poverty that's shown here, so you, you feel as though this person doesn't love you. There's a lot of fighting that's going on here. And it's like a battle that nobody 
nobody wins or nobody walks away from as a winner. Um, the battle is in trying to to heal this. This person is probably very confrontational, difficult. They're always right and you're always wrong. Um, you need to, with the scrying mirror, um, there's something inside of you that you're hiding from and you, you need to open your eyes. Um, you're running from your fears. You're only using half of your potential. There's a part of you that you are refusing to see um, whenever the shadows show up. I feel I feel that there's going to be like um, a decline in passion. Um, it's the passion or the desire to um, heal this. I feel like you're losing your hope or optimism, your faith that it's like the passion for that is leaving or declining. You're doing a lot of thinking, you're going within, so maybe you are trying to face your shadow side here. You have not taken this decision to end this because you put your sword down. So I feel that the universe is going to step in because we see that the tower is coming. I feel that this situation ends, okay? There is news of an ending. Um, it could come from the mail. There is a home move also. So someone is leaving, someone is moving out. This card indicates a change of residence. It is coming with a card of victory. I feel though that with these cards together, because there is an external change, there is a change of residence so even though you may have moved out or stepped onto a new path, you will still have the inner work to do because you took a lot here in this relationship and now you will have to focus and work on healing the self. You see the, the universe comes in to 
end a toxic relationship. I thank you for watching, for liking and sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Many blessings.